So one of the most powerful apps on your iPhone is Shortcuts because it can add new personalized features. And once you create a shortcut, it can make running a task quicker or it can automate a task. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about my five favorite shortcuts that I use every single day. I'll tell you what they do and how to set them up. Timestamps below as well as links to some of these if you wanna start using them right away. So the first shortcut is an automation and it's really useful if you have an older iPhone like I do. I have the iPhone XR and it's a couple years old and the battery life isn't as good as it used to be. And now I have battery anxiety. It's a real thing where I'm so concerned that I'm not gonna have power by the end of the day. And what the shortcut does is it puts my phone on low power mode before that 20%, which is the default. I have mine set at 40% and it gives me just a little bit more juice throughout the day. So here's how to set it up. You'll open up the Shortcuts app, and if you don't have this app, go ahead and search for it in the App Store. But once you have it and it's installed, go down to the Automation tab in the middle, press the plus icon, and we want a personal automation. We'll scroll down to Battery Level. We'll set this to 40%, and we'll have it equals 40%. We'll do Next and then we'll actually add the action of low power mode. So we'll just type in low power mode and there it is right there. So turn low power mode on, next. And then we wanna turn off ask before running because we don't want it to ask every single time. We want it to just automate and do it automatically without our, without our permission. So don't ask and we'll press done. And now we have it set up here. So when battery level is 40% set low power mode. And now anytime your battery level indicator goes at 40% or under, it'll automatically turn to low power mode, giving you a little bit of extra juice. So these next two shortcuts have to do with music. The first one takes whatever's playing on your iPhone and shoots it to an external speaker that has airplay capability. And it also adjusts the volume so it's not too loud or too soft. I have a Sonos speaker in my living room and whenever I'm in the kitchen, I don't have my AirPods in, I can press one button and it'll put it on my Sonos at the perfect volume. So I've turned this shortcut into a widget on my home screen and it sits right next to my two audio source widgets, which is Apple Music and Pocket Cast, which is my podcast player of choice. So this will let me easily resume anything I've been listening to and then I can hit the airplay button. So I'll show you how this works. So if I click on podcast here and I start playing this podcast, I can hit this button right here and it'll just take a second and it'll adjust the volume and you may not hear it, but right now the podcast is now beamed to my Sonos in my living room. This might seem a little lazy, but honestly it saves me so many steps. I always know I wanna play the audio to my Sonos and I know exactly the volume I wanna hear it at. Now, if I did this the traditional way, I need to go into the app, I need to find the AirPlay settings here, and then I need to pick my audio source, and then I also need to adjust the volume. So the link to this shortcut will be in the description below, but once you get it, you can open it up and it's really simple to configure. Set the playback destination to a speaker that's AirPlay capable, and I have, I have mine set up for my Sonos, and then you can just set the volume. And once you've done that, you can also take this shortcut and put it on your homepage. So if you do add and you look for the shortcut, so if we put this focus session shortcut, you just, all you have to do is hold down, edit the widget, and then you can just pick the shortcut and you can find that AirPlay Sonos widget and then you have it on your home screen. So the next music shortcut is an automation, and this one is amazing if you wanna have music play throughout the day automatically. I don't know about you, but I love having music play in the background, especially when I'm doing chores around the house. This also gives me more time to listen to an album that I'm meaning to check out, especially now that I don't have a morning commute. The first one is a trigger based on time and day. So I have mine set up on Fridays at 5.40 p.m. And that's roughly when my workday ends. So I have my Sonos play the Apple Music new music playlist automatically at that time. And it's a great way to listen to some new music and transition to the weekend. The second automation I've set up is music to start playing right when I arrive home. And this trigger is based on your iPhone's GPS. So right when I walk into my apartment, music has already started playing. It's a really cool way to come back to your apartment or home. So here's how to set both of these up. You'll go into the Shortcuts app once again. You'll wanna be in the Automation tab and we'll press the plus icon. We'll go into Home Automation and we're gonna use two of these triggers which Apple calls events. We'll start with the people arrive and that's using 
your iPhone's GPS to know when you get home. So under location, go ahead and type in your address and this will let the home automation know when you arrive with your iPhone to start that automation. And then under time, I like to restrict this to specific times because I don't want the music blaring too early in the morning or too late at night if I come home. And then once I have that set up, I'll do next. And then this is where you will tell the automation which speakers to turn on and start playing music. And I'm gonna pick both my Apple TV and my Sonos. We'll do next. And this is where you can name that shortcut if you want, or you can leave it as what it is right now, which is when anyone arrives home. And under media, we'll press play audio. And then the first thing I like to do is I like to set the custom volume. And I'll just adjust this so it's a little bit lower. It's not too loud. And then we'll have it play media, and then we'll choose the audio. And this will open up Apple Music. I will press into my library. I will go into playlists, and I will pick a playlist like this Pitchfork Selects playlist. Press that down, and then I'll add it. And now I have this set up and all I need to do now is go back, press done. It may take a second, but then it'll show up under my home and then you can click into it and look at the settings again and make any adjustments. You can also turn off this automation at any point without having to delete it. And our second trigger is gonna be time of day occurs. This is where we can set a specific time and day to start playing music. So I'm gonna set mine at 5.40 p.m. And then we'll press next and we'll select our speakers again. We'll press next. And then here you'll pick your music that you wanna play. And then two things I didn't mention is tests automation. This will let you test the automation to see if it works, but also to make sure that the volume is not too loud or too soft before you set it up. And then here you can also turn off the music after a certain period of time. So I can turn this off after one hour. So it starts at 5.40 and then it ends at 6.40 p.m. Next up is all about focusing and getting shit done. If you've seen my video on how I use focus modes on my iPhone, you know I'm a big fan of a 15 minute timer on my watch first thing in the morning to get a hard task done. So I've turned on my work focus mode here. And if I scroll over, I have my shortcut for my focus session, as well as the timer widget so I can see how much time I've done of deep work. So if I press this focus shortcut, we'll see what happens here. Volume has changed. I don't have my headphones on right now, but you can see that the timer app has opened up and it already started a timer for my YouTube side hustle. So if I look at the lock screen here, I have two live activities and this is a new feature in iOS 16.1 and I have the just the countdown timer for 50 minutes. Um, so when this alarm goes off, I know I can turn off my YouTube side hustle timer app and this is counting up and it's just tracking my deep work session so I know how much time I'm allocating to this activity. And then I also have the playlist that I really like when I'm doing a deep work session started as well. This last shortcut is for anybody who has an Apple Watch like I do and you wear it at night to track your sleep. This automation automatically turns on theater mode and turns it off at sunrise. So I've turned my sleep focus mode on and you'll see if I go to my watch face here, this is the watch face I use when I'm sleeping. I actually have a widget here that I use drafts that I can dictate audio and it works really well, especially when you have like an idea or a thought at night. This does a really good job of transcribing that without grabbing your phone or grabbing a notepad. So I really love it. The problem is when you're using sleep focus mode and you, you know, turn off the watch, it goes into this blank screen here, which I really find annoying and you have to hold down the crown to unlock it every single time. But I don't want my wrist to start lighting up when I'm sleeping. So what I like to do is I like to put it on theater mode here. And theater mode is really great in the fact that nothing happens when you're moving your wrist or you're moving in bed. Uh, but if you want to access your, your watch face, you can just press the screen here or you can press the, the crown. And now you can get into your different complications at night. So here's how to set up theater mode automatically using shortcuts. So first thing, you actually want to go into focus mode and you want to go into sleep and you want to go down to the options button here and you wanna have sleep screen off, and this will allow you to turn on sleep mode when you want to, but not have that annoying screen where everything goes blank. We'll do another automation, so we'll do a plus icon, we'll do a personal automation, and the example they have is the one we want, which is sleep. So when sleep begins, next, action, and we wanna search for theater mode. Set theater mode, on, next, so when sleep starts, turn 
fader mode on, and then we don't want this ask because we want it to run automatically. And then we'll do done. And then the second part is you want to make sure that you do another personal automation, you do sleep, and you do when waking up next. And we'll do the same action. We'll do theater mode. But this time we want to make sure that we turn it off. So we do next. So when waking up, turn off theater mode. So you don't have to do that every single time you wake up. Turn off the ask permission and we're done. And that's how you set it up. If you don't have focus mode set up on your iPhone, you really should. It's a great feature. Here's a video on how to set it up.